My Lords, I rise to, to speak in support of the pragmatic way forward provided by Cross Party Amendment 44 in the name of the Noble Lord Lord Farmer, the Noble Baroness Lady Fox and the Noble Baroness Lady Hurry. And I thank them for tabling it. And I do so for a particular reason, because some would have us believe, as we've heard in, in this debate, that this is simply about abortion. And the Noble Lords should be clear, it isn't. There is so much more at stake that should concern us all. Because this amendment gives your Lordship's House the opportunity to chart a more measured way forward that avoids the perils of passing a law <coughs> which undermines a hard-fought fundamental freedom, the freedom of conscience, a freedom that surely it is our responsibility and our privilege to champion, and most certainly not to undermine. I'm not going to rehearse the points I made when we last considered this clause. Suffice to say, it frightens me, because it threatens freedom of conscience and creates a precedent with potentially huge ramifications, which should surely alarm all of us, unite all of us, who value democracy. So my lords, some noble lords have mentioned urgency, even emergency legislation. I would say this is why we cannot afford to rush headlong without a review, just a review, not a final decision, a review being conducted first, so that in line with subsection 4 of Amendment 44, the proportionality of the measures proposed in Clause 9 can be carefully considered in the round, taking the views of all the stakeholders, including, of course, abortion providers, into account. Now, we talk in this chamber about the danger of passing legislation with unintended consequences. My Lords, this clause proves our point perfectly. It has danger written all over it. So I say to any noble lord who does not care about the risks of undermining freedom of conscience, about setting dangerous precedents, about passing laws brimming with unintended consequences. Please, go ahead. Vote for this clause, vote for other amendments. But my noble lords, if any noble lord has so much as a shred of doubt, I would urge them to vote for this review, which I repeat is not a final decision. It is simply a review proposed by Amendment 44.